it's ROM B360. Even though the Steam Deck is a great handheld, you can make it even more awesome if you have Xbox Game Pass with xCloud on it. It can even save you battery life if you stream the games instead of playing it natively on the Steam Deck. But setting up xCloud on your Steam Deck is not as straightforward as you might think. No worries as I will help you with that. Just one thing, our new goal on this channel is to reach 2000 subscribers. So if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be great. Before you start, here are three things that are good to know besides having an Xbox Game Pass subscription. The first would be to make sure it's fully charged, so your Steam Deck won't power off during the setup, so you avoid creating any issues. The second thing I recommend is to connect a keyboard and mouse through USB-C or Bluetooth, which will make the process a lot easier. And the third, if you don't have a compatible keyboard and mouse, you can press the Steam and X button simultaneously to bring up the touch keyboard and use it along the touch display or trackpads. Now the first thing you should do is press the Steam button to bring up the Steam menu, then select Power and switch to Desktop mode. From there, select the Discover Software Center icon on the taskbar, which is this icon. In the Discover Software Center, select Applications, then Internet, and then Web Browsers. Then find Microsoft Edge in the list of apps and select Install. Once it's installed, close Discover Software Center, return to the desktop and select Application Launcher. Select Internet, then right click on Microsoft Edge and select Add to Steam. In the Add a Game window, scroll to find Microsoft Edge, check the box next to it and select Add Selected. Then go back to the desktop, select Application Launcher, then System and then Console, which is the terminal window. Microsoft Edge needs to be able to access Steam Desk controls with UDEV, so we need to give it override access. Set it by entering this command and press enter. Just make sure to copy and paste the command from the description and don't change anything. Then enter exit and press enter to close the console. Open Steam by selecting the Steam icon on the desktop, select the library tab, navigate to Microsoft Edge in the list and then right click it and select properties. Then make the following changes to the Microsoft Edge shortcut. Just change the name next to the icon to Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta or anything you like. Scroll down to Launch Options and copy and paste the following command. You can do this right after this command. Again, don't change anything about the command. Close the window when you're done. Now navigate to Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta in the Steam library, right click it and select Manage and then Controller Layout. In the Steam Controller configuration, under Template, select Gamepad with Mouse Trackpad and select Done. Technically, you're ready with the setup, but if you really want to make the setup complete, I would advise to add custom artwork to your shortcut to make it look even better. Here's how to do that. Download the supplied artwork from the link in the description. You can do this directly from your Steam Deck or on your laptop or PC and put it on a USB drive. But in this video, we will download it directly from the Steam Deck. The art in the folder is for Xbox Cloud Gaming and the Microsoft Edge browser. In desktop mode on your Steam Deck, launch Steam, navigate to Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta in your library, right click it and then select Properties. Now we're going to add the icon. Just select the blank square on the left of the name of the shortcut, navigate to the location you saved the artwork and select the file Xbox Cloud Gaming icon. Then close this when you're done. Now we're going to add the banner. Right click the blank area behind the title above the play button and select set custom background. Then navigate your artwork and select the file Xbox Cloud Gaming banner. At this point, your Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta shortcut is ready to go. So let's return to the Steam Deck's gaming mode via the icon on the desktop and test it out for a bit. So we start at the Steam Deck's gaming mode. From here, we start the app. As you can see, the menu itself works pretty good. So let's scroll down a bit and I will choose a few games which I can showcase. So let's start with Assassin's Creed, but it will save you some time and fast forward the loading part. So now we're in the game and the controls itself work pretty good. Also the graphics are looking quite nicely. Just take it in for a moment. 
Now let's skip to the part where there's a bit more action. As you can see, unfortunately I died, so let's quit the game and move on to the next one. So at the top left corner, you can easily quit the game and return to the Xbox Game Pass menu. At the beginning of this video, I already showed you a bit of gameplay from Forza Horizon 5, but I think it's a good game to showcase because fast games like shooters or racing games tend to have a lot of lag when you stream them. But as you can see here, it works quite nicely and the graphics itself and even the sound doesn't stutter at all. Also the controls work fine and don't feel like they are lagging. So take in the gameplay a bit and judge for yourself. Smaller games like Battletoads work even better. As you can see they are not that complex, so it's easy to stream them. Besides that, this is a really funny game. So if you love 2D action brawlers, you should definitely try this one out. Speaking of brawlers, let's start Mortal Kombat 11. Because in fighting games it's really important you don't have any lag at all. So let's test it out for a bit. Also from the Xbox menu, you can even control it by swiping or tapping the screen. As you can see it's absolutely fantastic how this game looks on the Steam Deck. And the great thing is that you even save some battery streaming this game instead of playing it natively on the Steam Deck. But enough about that, just look at how fantastic this game looks. This hat cuts diamonds. Diamonds do not fight back. And icicles do, Sub-Zero. Round one, fight. Controls feel pretty good. There might be a slight lag in it, but you will barely notice it. Maybe if you're a pro player, you can't play with this, but if you're a casual gamer like me, I think it will be good enough for you. And then there's this game, completely the opposite of Mortal Kombat 11, Tiny Kin, which I absolutely love and reminds me a bit of Pikmin, because of all these tiny creatures that are walking behind you. And the graphical style also looks great. It's a combination of 3D and 2D graphics. As you can see, overall everything seems to be running just fine. Just a note, if this video was helpful to you, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click here to see my overall impressions of the Steam Deck. See you there!